following a 14-1 season with the Arkansas Razorbacks, an SEC championship, and a college football national championship. Can we rebound and have a tremendous second year in our tenure here at Arkansas? Unfortunately, in the offseason, we saw a number of Arkansas players that were freshmen that were going to be playing transfer away from the U of A along with two draft picks bumper pool stormberg are gone to the nfl draft how will this arkansas team rebound and rebuild with the upcoming freshman class arkansas would finish number 18 in the recruiting class with one five star six four stars eight three stars and two two stars which would lead us to be number 18 which was headlined by the number one overall free safety william carter out of kirksville missouri six five two ten our five star recruit looking to lead this arkansas defense defense into year two. As we look into year two with our roster, we have KJ Jefferson returning as our senior redshirt quarterback at 94 overall. In the backfield, we have a lot of options with Rocket Sanders, the junior All-American, coming back to lead this rushing attack, AJ Green, and Dominic Johnson following behind him. And in a big area we needed improvements was in our receiving core, and we are led by the senior, Jaden Hazelwood, followed by Isaiah Sategana, and then we have Sam Mbake and Quincy McAdoo, as well as Bryce Stevens. And at tight end, Hudson Henry, the great Henry family, continues their tradition with him at senior 6'5", 258 tight end, followed by Ty Washington. But then on the defensive side of things, the All-American senior Drew Sanders looks to lead our linebacker core along with the freshman William Carter, the number one overall freshman it's free safety is going to be getting the start week one over the junior Jaden Johnson. Following the national championship, our Hogs are coming into year two, number six in the nation. And it's going to be a tough battle in the SEC as Alabama is number one in preseason polls. Taking a look at the preseason Heisman race, we have two Razorbacks on the shortlist with Rocket Sanders and KJ Jefferson. How would this offense respond with a new offensive coordinator at the helm as well as a new defensive coordinator on the defensive side of the ball? And our Hogs are going to open up in a top 10 matchup. Number six Razorbacks taking on USC, number five in the nation, and a neutral site kickoff for week one. So we're here for the opening matchup of year two. Can we make it back-to-back -back national championships here in our college football revamp? Razorback Dynasty, we open up here in a neutral site game. So we have a new DC, the defense out here facing the first test on a third and five. As they have Williams at QB, Barlow in the backfield, motion coming here, makes it trips, and they're going to go draw play, and he goes nowhere, Barlow, for no gain. So it's a third and five for the Hogs, trying to convert again, another first down here, and we have a wide open target underneath this McAdoo. He's going to convert, get pick, a big first down, 15 yards for Quincy McAdoo. So the Hogs have worked their way downfield. Seven first downs already in this one here. And they're going to go read option with KJ. He goes into the end zone and puts the Hogs up 10 with their first touchdown of the new year. And as good as the Razorbacks were last year on offense, we may be even better. The defensive side of the ball remains to be seen, but we have Hazelwood there. He catches and down at the one. So it's a second down and goal for the Hogs to open up quarter two. We're going to fake it here and go to green up the middle. And he's in. The Razorbacks are rolling here over the Trojans. It's a 17-0 lead. So a first and 10 for the Razorbacks. Again, another short field to take over here, and they're trying to convert another big play, and Jefferson will make it too. It's another rushing touchdown for the Heisman favorite quarterback. And on the next play, Williams connects to Ford for 21 yards, a touchdown to make it a 14-point game. So here we go, second and goal. Try to get a stop, and it's going to be a pass, a beautiful one at that. Another touchdown, Jordan Addison. USC now two for eight on third downs today. Third and four here, down by eight points here in the opening matchup of the season to kick it all off. And they find their man Williams, but he is not able to get enough. The defense, Landon Jackson with a stop there, brings up a fourth and six. So after a hot start for this offense, things have flattened out and settled down. Third and nine Razorbacks need a big play here. If we can get it, and we're not going to find our man. Jefferson trying to take off and run. He's looking. He's trying to find somebody. Back in the end zone, there's Henry with a big catch and conversion. What a play made from KJ to Hudson Henry. That brings up a first down and goal. Potentially a dagger play here for the Razorbacks. As they're looking, end zone, KJ 
evading pressure in. It's a two-yard score, his third rushing touchdown of the game. Third and goal for the Trojans. Needing to get in the end zone. There's nothing else they can do or hope for. And Barlow gets the edge. Three yards, one score game. So the Hogs need to recover. The onside kick here. It's a touchdown lead for the Razorbacks. It takes a bounce, but the Hogs take it, and they're down at the 40. So the defense has done a good job. It's now third and seven. They have one timeout remaining here, and we're just going to try to run that clock out as Rocket goes down at the two. Final timeout taken, fourth and five for the Razorbacks. And in the last seconds, they were driving down the field. We pick off Williams. It's Hudson Clark coming through in the clutch, and we're going to hang on for a victory here in week one against the number five team in the nation. Following that massive win, we're now getting ready for another ranked matchup. This time our home opener, week three, taking on the Tar Heels of UNC, number 18 in the nation, a battle of top quarterbacks. And UNC gets it started with a seven yard rush to Petaway for a touchdown, seven nothing Tar Heels. And another touchdown from Petaway makes it now a 14 nothing lead for the Tar Heels. We're trailing big here early. So make it now a 21-0 lead. Petaway has three rushing touchdowns already today, and we have yet to even really get the offense going here as KJ looking over, he finds Hudson Henry for a huge first down, 19 yards. And again, we gotta keep in mind with this team right now, we gotta find stops, but it's a four quarter game. One quarter is not gonna decide this thing. We gotta battle through as KJ takes it in the end zone, 14 yards out on the read option. And this has just been the issue for us today. Our defense just cannot slow down May and Petaway. They have dominated the line of scrimmage. They have dominated everything. And May pitches there to Petaway. He takes it in the end zone. Another rushing touchdown. So our Hogs need to get in the end zone. Before the half, we need a huge stop on defense as well. But we find Mbake, and he gets in the end zone. A nice play, 15 yards. So the Hogs face a second and goal here in the second half, trailing by a score of 14. And as we find Henry, he gets us down to the two, maybe the three. Third down and goal. The Razorbacks really need to find their way into the end zone as Rocket Sanders in his way takes it into the end zone. The defense could do nothing about that power. So it is a third and 11. UNC is eight for 11 today in these third down situations. We need a huge stop here. The Razorbacks, they're going to screen pass. They find Petaway. He gets a block. He gets a second. He stops, though, as he stops short. It's a big stop for the Razorback defense. So the Hogs have battled back. The defense has come alive here in this game, and it's a first and 10 for our Hogs. Here we go. We're going to take off. KJ going to try to battle his way in the end zone. He dives, but he's short of the pylon. So it's a first and goal. We have Rocket Sanders in the backfield and he'll just take it in from inches as he gets tackled late there, but it's gonna tie this game up here late in the third quarter. So a first down and goal for the Razorbacks looking to take the lead. They've battled in this one. It's a fumble, it's put on the deck, but Hazelwood falls on top. Third and goal for the Hogs. We have AJ Green going in and he's in the end zone and the Razorbacks have climbed all the way back. Okay, this is the 17th third down that this offense has faced today. They've been successful more than not, and they are right there. They find Jones. He converts first and goal with over 220 remaining. Second down and goal here for May and the Tar Heels. Motion coming to the right of your screen. Second and goal. Here we go. We're looking, and it is a pass caught by Morales. Kamari Morales will tie this thing up. And we're in a tough situation here. It's a first and 10. They could run out the clock and try to kick a field goal as our offense not able to do much right now against this team. And they'll use one more timeout. So the Tar Heels looking to walk it off potentially here. They have 11 seconds, so we have enough time even if they do make this here. It's a third and in inches for the lead. And it is pushed off right. It's no good. He misses it. And the Hogs have hope. This has been a wild game, and it's now a second and 11 here in the first overtime period. We're looking right here on the curl. We find our man. It's a nice first down catch. First and goal. Rocket Sanders in the backfield. Going to take the handoff here and into the end zone to give us the lead. Second down and goal for the Tar Heels. Looking to send this thing to a double overtime. And Catalan is there. He shoots through the gap. It's a loss. 
third and goal and they got us the jump but they're not going to call the penalty and it's going to be bounced out it's a fourth down upcoming so this is it the game on the line a big stop here we'll end this thing and we snuff them out it's a loss of downs and the Razorbacks hang on in overtime stay unbeaten early on as they take down UNC as we head into this final matchup on the day, Rocket Sanders moved down, is still in the Heisman conversation after a three touchdown day. So we're here from Athens taking on one of the best, most consistent programs in the country with the Bulldogs of Georgia. We take the early lead. It is a seven to two game, a safety and then a touchdown from Jefferson to Mbake, the Hogs lead here early. But Georgia bounces just like that back. It's 60 yard rush from Jack Saint for the lead for the Bulldogs. And Vandegrift for Georgia finds Mitchell 69 yards on the second play after a punt. They take a 10 point lead. We're in trouble here, ladies and gentlemen. A turnover and they take over from our one yard line. The defense trying to get a stop here, but unfortunately he takes it in. It's Brock Vandergriff and Georgia is steamrolling here on their home field. Third down goal, Razorbacks desperate for a stop to turn over potentially, and they find him in the back of the end zone, incomplete, hold him to a field goal. So before the half, we're facing a third and fourth. The Razorbacks needing to get this offense going here as they're feeling some pressure up the middle. KJ got to take off up the middle. He gets a block. He fumbles. He puts the ball in the deck, and it's picked up by Singletary. He breaks a tackle, and they take over the ball. The third takeaway for the Georgia defense today. Our Razorbacks are crumbling here under the pressure on the road. Second in goal for Vandergriff, and they get us to jump. It's going to be a free play regardless of how you want to spin it, but it doesn't matter. Touchdown, Edwards and Georgia. First down and 10 for the Razorbacks after the nice first down play we just had there. We got something going there. We're looking corner end zone. We find a man. It's Mbake with a touchdown. Sam Mbake, 23 yards. And we make it now at least a little bit closer. So the Razorbacks are down by 19, entering to the fourth quarter, facing a second down and two here at the five-yard line, needing a huge play here. We're going to take off end zone touchdown kj and following a punt return for a touchdown from aj green 74 yards it's now a one score game and razorback ball and george is rolling the dice it's a fourth down and five our defense has found ways to stop them here in this second half and we need a big one here to give us the momentum back the pendulum swift oh and he gets the first down it's a big gainer and a dagger potentially in the heart of the defense. And they go into the end zone with R. Jack Saint with a 21 yard touchdown to make it now a two score lead. Two minutes and change remaining. Third and goal for the Hogs. We're going to look to get in the end zone here. And KJ's going to just take off. Nobody there on the spy. A one score deficit still to make up. And Georgia, three for 14 on third downs. That is what's given us the opportunity to get back into this football game here. Third and six here. We need to stop. They're going screen pass. They find their man. It's going to be a broken tackle, though, and he's short by two yards. A stop for the defense. And it is clutch up time here. We need a huge play. We get the screen. It's picked. Ringo, a bad pass, and it's going to be the dagger. And it's going to be a pick six to end the unbeaten streak. The fourth takeaway, a bad pass, and Georgia's going to hang on. So after a tremendous comeback effort, the Hogs falter on a terrible pick six as Brock Vandergriff leads Georgia to a huge win, upsetting number four Arkansas on their home field. A terrible loss and a potential SEC championship matchup to see again soon. So following that tough loss on the road against Georgia, Georgia bounces up two spots to number six. We drop five spots down now to number nine in the country, which actually is pretty, pretty forgiving given what was transpired there. But the Hogs outside of the top five. Can they rebound as we get ready for Texas A&M and Jerry World in the next episode? And can KJ find his groove and can the defense find ways to get stops and lead the Hogs back into the top five?